Yo, YouTube, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to today's video where, ladies and gentlemen, we are here for you guys another episode of the Minecraft Skyblock series here on play.pvpcloud.net. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. And real quickly, if you are new here, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And to get things rolling today, we are going to be doing a massive, massive giveaway. And I'll roll last episode's giveaway winners here in a second. But you guys crushed it on the last episode. So we're just going to go ahead and give away three more of the pirate loot boxes on today's video. So if you guys want to enter that giveaway literally just leave a like subscribe and comment down below your username or ign and the code word just say loot box just so i know that's the giveaway you're entering and also guys we're doing something cool that if you join the pvp cloud discord the link to it is down below and you make a ticket just make a ticket saying you want a free rank and we're giving away a kraken rank to everyone that joins the discord and wants one so click the pvp cloud discord down below make a ticket and then just say yo i want a kraken rank and i'll hook you up with one but guys things are going really really good here for us on skyblock but before we dive in i did want to real quickly read off today's giveaway winners but as you can tell we're is top one things are going absolutely amazing for us but before i show you guys everything let me real quickly read off last episode's giveaway winners so last episode's daily double winner is going to be bega 14 congratulations you are today's daily double winner if you guys don't know what the daily double is basically the most recent person to purchase something on the store whatever they purchase they get doubled so whatever bega purchased just go ahead and make a ticket and you will get this doubled so if you bought like 10,000 clouds let's say you get another 10,000 for free and if you guys want to pick up anything on the store right now you can actually use code sky and get 50 percent off your purchase that code is going to be active for the next week so make sure you guys use that and then the loot box giveaway winner from last episode is going to go ahead and be mm martin you are today's three loot box giveaway winner from the last episode go ahead and create a ticket in the pvp cloud discord and me or one of the admins will go ahead and get you the three pirate loot boxes but yeah guys that was amazing if you get again want to just go ahead you know pick up something on the store if you want to be a daily double winner and make sure you guys enter the three loot box giveaway we are doing on today today's video but okay guys right now we are currently is top number one we currently have one or just over one billion dollars in value it's me dj dominant mad hatter venom we, we got a stacked island and to be fair if we take a look at the other islands behind us temps island i mean they're just behind us about like what 350 mil away palace is like not too far away and there's still like bond bulls playing this season there's a lot of really really good islands on the server so even though we're is top one now it's still we still got a grind okay it's not an easy easy uh system you know we still got a little bit of a way to go um so we will figure that that out as we go on here but i'm pretty happy with where we're at right now now a couple other things you guys might notice since the last episode is your boy finally got a fully decked out money set shout out to my boy dj dj hooked me up i think he's right there yeah shout out to my boy dj right there has hooked me up got me a money set he also hooked me up with a full orb set now this is why i was saying and we're actually going to open some loot boxes here in a second but this is why i was saying um the pirate set we could potentially get from the pirate loot box is op because if you take a look at the orb set right now like if i run a full orb set i get 0.5 boost on each piece so what is that like two times on the whole set but it's only for orbs and then if i were to do it for the money set right here it's the same thing but it's just for money where the pirate set is a mix of orbs and money and we get a three times boost with the whole set on so right now i've just been running the money set right now just because it's uh, you know i'm getting two times boost but eventually what will i i'll need to get three pieces of a pirate set to make it worth more than this um but as of right now i've just been running the money set because money is the most important thing and if we take a look at bow top right now i mean my island's absolutely crushing it dj right there i think that's five billion dollars big up 460 so we have like a lot a lot of money compared to other people so yeah we got some farms going on i will show you guys our farm here in a second but my boy dj actually hooked me up with two billion orbs which we can spend on our our mob sword and our harvester hoe but before we spend those orbs i did want to go ahead real quickly and open up some loot boxes real quick so let's go to spawn right here actually let me go to the cloud shop right now and again guys if you want to pick up a loot box use code sky you get 50 percent off on clouds or loot boxes whatever but here we go boom there we go pirate loot boxes okay hopefully we get lucky right now ideally we get more pieces of the pirate set right here that would be like the best thing for us to get because again the more pieces of this the more op it is so yeah we'll see how it goes but let me go ahead and take that off right here and let's go ahead and see what we could get with the pirate loot box okay here we go we got three of these let's see what we get in the first one right now oh oh i think we got pirate like 
leggings. Yes, okay, we got pirate leggings and a farmer minion. That was a phenomenal opening right there. I don't know what else we got. I kind of got so distracted. We also got some random booster boxes right there. That was actually a really, really good opening and the farmer robot's good. But okay, this is huge. We got the pirate boots and pirate leggings. So that means right now, if I were to wear both of those, we'd get a 1.5 boost, where so still technically speaking, orbs of money is better, but soon like one more piece will be at 2.25 boost and that's better than what either of those could give. So that's a W. So I don't know, we might get lucky right now. Here we go. And I also realized I have some pirate loot boxes from uh, crate alls we did throughout the uh, release day. So technically speaking, I have a couple. Oh my gosh, we just got a Goliath rank voucher. What? It looks like we got a ton of coins and orbs and money right there. I'll never complain about that, but we got a Goliath rank right there. Yo, that was amazing. Okay, it looks like we got three more pirate loot boxes. Okay, come on. We got like three or more chances. Just give me like a chest plate and a helmet or even an extra piece would be fine because I could go ahead and trade it to someone. But okay, boom, there we go. Not too bad. Cheap spawners right there. Okay, okay, pretty good. I'll take the spawners. I don't really know how much sheep spawners we currently have on our island right now. We got 398, so I'll go ahead and add more. I'm actually curious which spawners we have the most of. It looks like blazes or no. Oh wait, sheep spawners. Yeah, sheep spawners we have the most of. So I guess it's good that we probably got sheep right there. Let's keep going. We got two more pirate loot boxes. Come on, please give me another piece of armor. Oh, I just saw the chest plate, bro. Okay, we got four pet boxes. We got 20 blazes. Yo, we're getting really good. And we got some of the September tags there. And we're getting some currencies and stuff like that. I got a ton of orbs for my island. That's why I have two bill right now. Shout out DJ. So obviously the orbs are a little bit inflated compared to what the loot box is, but the money is good. I'll always take the money. Here we go. Let's see. What am I going to get from this right here? Okay, you got some solid coins, a minor robot, a September tag. That was actually not a bad opening and some more booster boxes. And I actually think, yeah, those are rare booster boxes. So that was actually a pretty good opening. I'm actually really, really happy with the spawners. Who knows? Maybe next episode we'll run the monthly crates. We open pirate loot boxes a lot, but the monthly crates, you actually get nine of these rewards where the loot boxes, you only get five. So it would be interesting. It's just the only issue is that the pirate armor isn't in the monthly crates. So who knows? We'll figure it out as we go. But that was actually a pretty good opening. So let me head over to our island real quick because there's a lot of things we kind of need to do now. So immediately off the rip, uh, I think the number one way to make money on the server is with the mob sword at the moment. And so I'm just trying to figure out which one makes the most sense to upgrade right now. Now, the only issue is, is that our mob sword is only level one. So I need to upgrade it at our farm right there. So we'll see if I'm going to be able to go ahead and do that. I do want to go ahead and add this to or the what is this? Like I got like 20 for I got like 40 spawners right here. So let me go ahead. I think sheep go right here and then blazes where are the blazes right here. Boom, boom. So there we go. So now we're at 1.03 build value that actually added a pretty solid amount of value. Not complaining. And then I did get a farmer and a miner robot from uh, from what I know, Slayer robots are the best because obviously you could like automate farms with them. Um, but unfortunately right now I did not get any of those, but like, I don't, I don't know, maybe farmer or mining could be OP. We may end up buffing them in the future. So I'm not going to toss these, but I'm not going to place them right now. There's just like really no reason for them. And then booster boxes, we can just go ahead and see right here. Boom. We got some solid boosters, not too shabby. I do need to like create like a, a PV exclusively for boosters because uh, it's going to be kind of hard to track. Let's see. We got XP there. Okay. We got some orbs. Let me just organize this real quick. Actually, this literally worked perfect. We got two of tools, money, orbs, and XP right there. So yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and add those. That's works. And I got this Goliath rank right now. I guess I'll also give away this Goliath rank on today's video. So if you guys want to also enter the Goliath rank, just comment down, you know, your IGN and all that, and then comment Goliath. So if you want to do the loot box, you could do both, but make sure you make a separate comment for Goliath, like one for Goliath and then one for loot box, just so it's easier to sort them. But okay, pretty lit. So now where we're at right now, I got 2 billion orbs. The only concern though, and oh my gosh, DJ just paid me another 2 billion orbs. What? Okay, that's to say, I don't know. DJ's going absolutely crazy right now, chat. But okay, I guess that actually ties into my issues right now. I mean, I guess the number one enchant to upgrade right now would probably just be orb greed on my harvester hoe because that will make it easier for us just to, you know, constantly have orbs that we could upgrade for our mob sword and all that in the future. So I guess that's just what we're going to upgrade is the orb greed enchant right here. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we'll max it out. It costs 3.39 billion orbs. So that's literally like maxing it out right there. So I guess we'll go ahead and take that. But that's a huge enchant to get maxed out right now this early in the season because crops is like the number one way to get orbs. So we'll see. Let me do a little bit. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. And if I were to put on an orb set right now, we're still going to get, what is that? Like a two time boost. So here, let me turn down my sound a little just so it's not crazy, crazy loud. But oh my gosh, look at the chat. Oh, with our full orb set on guys, it literally like, what were we getting before? Like two to 300 K. Now we're getting like 800 to 1.2 mil. Yeah, this full orb set is actually insane. 
insane. Like, oh my gosh, guy, what the heck? Look at that. Yeah, that's absolutely wild right there. So I'm really, really happy we did that because now we basically just have an infinite supply of orbs. It'll be super easy for us if we ever need to get orbs. I don't have to rely on like DJ or anything. Like I, I can grind out some crops right here. So that, that won't be too hard. And I think what I also want to probably go ahead and do, I don't really know. I mean, we could upgrade some of the money enchants. It's just, it, it, we, they're, a lot, they're a lot later down the line in terms of the levels. So I guess we could do orb or auto sell right here. That's probably a good thing just so that my inventory doesn't get cluttered anymore. So yeah, there we go. Now we got auto sell. Now the only issue is from actual crops, you really can't make a lot of money. Like by far grinding mobs is a lot easier. So that will be something that we got to keep in consideration. And then if we go to IS upgrades right here, crop growth. Okay, right now, this is where I want to put most of my money to is towards crop growth because I basically want it so that these crops are instantly growing back. It just makes it a lot easier to grind crops and stuff like that. And right now it looks like we are currently on upgrade level 12. We have all the way up to level 17, which will give us a massive, massive boost. So that is something to consider. Who knows? We'll kind of figure that out as we go on right here. But yeah, my chat is absolutely insane. The amount we're earning from orb greed right now, it probably wouldn't make sense. I mean, we could do well right now. My The thing is my harvester hoe is only level five, so I can't really do much. And that's kind of the issue right now with my mob sword is like some of these are like super high level. It doesn't like I can't really even do anything yet. So yeah, right now I just need to figure out a way to start upgrading my mob sword. Now the only issue is actually I'm gonna ask DJ real quick. Yeah, I just asked DJ what's the quickest way to upgrade your mob sword level because that is like kind of the biggest hiccup. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, like upgrading your mob sword level is probably the quickest thing. It's just like I don't really know where I'm supposed to grind on the island. I mean, we have this little pig farm right here, and apparently at the beginning of the season, Slayer robots used to actually give you the levels for your mob sword now it doesn't do that so that's kind of unfortunate so i guess yeah like pigs would probably be the quickest way to go ahead and do it i could just throw on a little auto clicker so maybe i'll do that so yeah i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna sit here and i'm gonna go ahead and grind my mob sword to level five because i need to get it so that i can do the sharpness enchant because that will make it so that i can one tap these mobs and they don't go like flying around like this so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna grind this for a bit i'm just gonna throw on an auto clicker and it really shouldn't take too long i feel like actually doing it in this corner will probably be super super easy dj said he's gonna work on like a custom farm for me so who knows maybe we'll maybe oh oh no i just accidentally knocked this up there okay there we go now yeah okay so he's gonna build me a little custom farm right here uh just to make it a little bit easier oh yeah this will work so yeah i'm gonna throw on an auto clicker i'm gonna get my mob sword to level five uh we'll be right back and we'll start doing some upgrades on the mob sword here okay guys i know there's like a black bar at the bottom of the screen right now and that's just because i'm recording when i'm not in full screen but i'm running auto clicker right now and like i got it absolutely frying boys look Look at this look how quickly we're killing the mobs right now this is insane and yeah doing this is also gonna level up our tool pet our money pet and all that so yeah this is actually wild but before i do that i realized we literally have a tool booster right here so we could go ahead and actually do this i'm not gonna do the 1.7 because i feel like i'll get to level five pretty quick so we're just gonna do the 1.5 boost right there and boom there we go now it's absolutely frying and flying right now let's actually see real quickly yeah look at this we're already level three right now i might just let this run for a little and I mean, look at, yeah, really, it's really not that hard to get this leveled up right now. See, so yeah, I think I might just go ahead, try to get this to like maybe level 20. I don't know. I'll get it to like at least level five. We'll see what happens. Okay, guys. So I went ahead and grinded with this little farm setup right here for like, I literally probably like three minutes and doing this is super, super OP. Like it worked extremely, extremely well. And granted, I do have the one booster going right here. I do have the tool booster. Yeah, it took me like what? Four minutes, not even four minutes, like three minutes to go ahead and do that. And the craziest part about this is that's with only like 158 pigs right here so what i mean my point with this is that like it's actually like you don't need a lot of spawners to really level up your mob sword you could do it with just like even i don't even think you need 158 like i feel like if you even had like 50 of these or whatever it really wouldn't be too hard and you can get these spawners really easily and envoys and stuff like that so just for those of you if you might be trying to play the server for the first time log in and like do that like this this is super easy you can upgrade your mob sword well now granted i do have uh, a lot more orbs maybe than you would at the beginning but you know you may join an op island that's the great solution but Okay, now that we've done that, I actually was getting a decent amount of orbs. Like right here, we got, what is that? Like 50,000, 21,000. Granted, that's with an orb set on right here and stuff like that. But like, that's a pretty solid amount of orbs just to get while you're grinding at least. So I'm slightly tempted. It's only gonna cost 152 million. I'm gonna go ahead and max out our orb finder. 
just because like there is a chance when it procs like it, that's not bad and let's just see real quickly let's see let's get one more proc right now i just want to see how many orbs we get now obviously the proc rate is really low but yeah right there like a million orbs just for it to like do it in the background because i assume i'm going to be grinding a lot of mobs so yeah, like that's actually not that bad at all like i will happily go ahead and take that right here and i just realized we are collecting loot in here wait what the heck are these hoppers like messed up or something or like why aren't the pork chops like going to me bro what the heck that's weird okay regardless though that's pretty good now there are a couple other things sharpness i want to max out right now boom there we go so now we definitely can one tap this mob if we uh, of course of course i went to go one tap the mob and it disappears bro of course okay let's go to hit that one right there yeah so see now that we're sharpness it doesn't knock them back or anything so that's good i don't really need this like weird setup now let me actually real quickly grab my goliath kit and just fix that real quickly just like that but yeah this makes it super easy to grind now like literally you can just sit here just grind these all day and look at this it's it's so op so like, cool now that we got that i don't really think there's any other and chance on the sword I want to worry about right now. We could do orbs booster, but like I'll worry about that probably next episode because right now we need to get our sword to level eight and uh, I just need to go ahead. I actually am in a little rush right now. So your boy may be ending the episode a little quick right here. But yeah, overall, I'm actually very, very happy with where we have ended up on today's episode. We're I is top number one. So that already in itself is a massive W, but then you go ahead and pair everything else we've done. I'm actually pretty happy, boys. We also made some good upgrades on the mob sword and the harvester hoe. Probably by next episode, I'm probably gonna have like mob sword level like a million who knows and actually it looks like our outpost is currently getting taken for money right now so i think we might need to retake that uh hopefully i could go help my island but yeah guys i think we're gonna go ahead and start to wind off today's video here on play.pvpclaw.net so if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure you leave a like and subscribe uh I'll, i upload every other day and for those of you guys that don't know or might be interested uh we also have our prisons realm resetting and releasing this saturday and so if you guys want to see vids on that as well go subscribe to my prisons channel because those will start every other day once that releases as well but guys, we're going to go ahead and wind it off here. Thank you all so much for watching. And what a way to end off today's video with DJ sending me 2 billion orbs. That, that is literally insane. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it off here. I'll see you all in the next one. And until then, bye-bye.